The K2 investigation into how many car thieves are in the Portland area are caught and actually held accountable. And police and prosecutors say the crime is hard to solve. K2 investigator Wright Gazaway is on your side investigating how police and prosecutors work together to stop one of the most frustrating crimes for victims. And Wright, you have new data showing prosecutors are taking more cases to court. Yes, more police cases are being prosecuted today than even two years ago. However, we want to know why some cases still are not making it to court and what police and prosecutors are doing together to get that number up. Here's what. Yeah, chained to the boat, locked and chained to the boat. That slows them down. That's all it does. Bud Hoffman and his daughter Nikki are taking no chances with this Toyota pickup in Bud's driveway. The truck has far more sentimental value than monetary value. Yeah, I have some of my younger brother's clothes, but this is the main thing that we have left of him. This is Nikki's brother's truck. They lost him in 1996. I just see you light up thinking about it. That's what it does. Means to you. Yeah. It has. I have a lot of great memories. Thieves stole the truck from a nearby lot in North Portland in mid-March. It was like a piece of me. They tore a piece of me and took it away from me. As you can oh, yeah. see, the Hoffmans got the truck back. They are just two of the thousands of victims caught in Portland's car theft epidemic that keeps getting worse. Our investigation found in 2016, Portland police reported just over 5,000 thefts. That number continued to go up through last year, more than doubling to almost 11,000 thefts in 2022. Far fewer get solved. Data we received through an open records request show countywide law enforcement sent 615 cases to the DA's office for prosecution in 2015. That number increased over the next five years before exploding to just under 1,800 cases last year. We're getting more cases submitted to us, more stolen car cases than ever before. Kevin Deemer is a deputy district attorney in Multnomah County. He leads a team of 14 prosecutors in the Felony Property Crime Unit. What is the district attorney's office doing to hold people accountable? Well, we're increasing the number that we are charging. I mean, first, uh, to hold people accountable, you need a conviction. K2 checked the data to see if that's true. In 2015, Multnomah County prosecutors moved forward with just 52% of 615 cases. That percentage has increased to 69% of almost 1,800 cases last year. More charges are possible, according to prosecutors. The elected district attorney has told uh, me and my unit to be aggressive on how we prosecute these cases, and that's reflected in that higher prosecution number. And those convictions are the vehicle, if you will, the mechanism that allows us to have accountability. And that accountability is what's going to make the public safer. Taking even more cases to court depends on their working relationship with police. East dispatch. To the units with the Dodge Durango. Our deputy has located a stolen car. Lieutenant Norman Staples leads a group of East Precinct Portland officers who put on stolen car missions. You know, like in every big organization, there's times where you don't work good together and there's times where you do work to good together. And this is one of those times where we've all noticed that there's a problem, especially with stolen cars, and we're working good together. A prosecutor works hand in hand with law enforcement on these missions. Both sides agree that coordination leads to more car thieves facing justice for their crimes. Most all of our cases are getting indicted and being uh, pursued by the DA's office. So this has been really good for us. If it comes down to police giving this office the best possible case, what steps are you taking to make sure police are doing that? Right. I personally have gone out and spoken to police at 40 different roll calls, all the precincts and the sheriff's office and Gresham, where I show them where the current state of the law is, the challenges that we have in prosecuting these cases, and the type of evidence that we need, including suggested questions to ask suspects. Tightening that partnership is important to reestablishing trust in neighborhoods like this, where victims deal with the inconvenience and even the emotional impact of a crime like a stolen car. You want to see police and prosecutors do more to stop crimes yes. like this? Yes, yes, I would because it's just uncalled for. 
County and city leaders are also in the process of strengthening their teamwork. Both commissions are set to vote on money to pay for another prosecutor and investigator in the DA's office to prosecute stolen car cases. Right. Did you look at other metro counties and what do their numbers look like now? We did. Let's start with just the cases referred to DA's offices in Clackamas and Washington County. Obviously, the raw numbers are much lower than Multnomah County, which is over 1,100 cases on average referred every year. Law enforcement in Clackamas County referred roughly 360. 60 car theft cases a year on average to prosecutors since 2015. That number is 340 cases in Washington County, once again, on average since 2015. What about prosecution rates? In Washington County last year, prosecutors dropped charges in about 25% of cases. In Clackamas County, it was closer to 30% of cases. So last year, the prosecution rate was fairly close in all three counties. The difference is that the rates in Washington and Clackamas counties have been that high since at least 2015, when the Multnomah County rate was much lower, 52% as we showed in that story. Right, Gasaway, thank you.